Hi class, in this video what I want to do is I want to walk you through your challenge exercise in Zybook section 6.1. So section 6.1 starts talking about uh, confidence intervals. So here's the, um, here's the first question. So the amount of time in minutes for students uh, to complete a standardized test is normally distributed, okay? So a data analyst takes a sample of n is equal to 45 students and finds a 90% confidence interval. So what this 90% confidence interval is, is it's we're 90% sure that the average time um, that these students take to complete this standardized test is between, and it looks like this is done in minutes, 101.8 minutes, or it could be all the way up to 140.2 minutes and everything in between. So what is the population parameter here? So the population parameter is what we're, what we're constructing the confidence interval for. And it's the average amount of time taken on the test by all students, okay? And so then what is the uh, interpretation here? So remember, we're 90% uh, confident, okay? So we're 90% confident exists that the average time taken between the students is between this, okay? So we're 90% confident, okay, that the average time that these students will work on the test is between somewhere between these two values. All right, so let's check. Great, we got it. All right, so let's go on to the next one here. So this one here, you're given a, a, an Excel output of information here. So a clothing retailer is interested in the average waist size of men, okay? So a sample is taken and you're given this, this results here. Okay, so the first thing it says is, uh, what is the sample statistic X bar? So that's the sample mean. So that's this first number right here. So it's 41.39. Great. Now this is this is weird. They they say what is the point estimate for the average waist size? Well, the point estimate is the sample mean, so it's actually the same thing. So a sample mean, <coughs> excuse me, is a point estimate, whereas a confidence interval is a, um, a range or interval estimate. Okay. So what is the level of confidence? And if you look here, do you notice where it says confidence level ninety five percent? So you just have to write this as a decimal zero point nine five. And what is the margin of error? So in Excel, this right here, when it says confidence level, and then it gives this value here, that's the margin of error. Okay, so it asks, what is the confidence interval now? Well, with the confidence interval, and I'm going to pull my calculator in here, uh, the lower bound of the confidence interval is your point estimate, 49.39, minus the margin of error, so minus 2.119. So it looks like our lower bound here, the lower bound is 39.271. And now the upper bound is you take your point estimate and you add, add the margin of error. So this one was 43.509. Okay, so we got these. So let's just check. We got them all. So this is great. Um, so for these ones here, um, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know in the class. But uh, this should help you get through the challenge exercise in section 6.1.